Hello all. Welcome to module 1. Hello everyone. Welcome back to your English class. So I hope you all are fine and safely staying at home. So today we are going to discuss a new chapter. But before that, I would like to share something with you. During my childhood, uh, we had a huge mango tree at our backyard. And uh, usually every afternoon it was like a celebration going on there. Because we, we used to come back home after class and we used to have our tea and rush towards this mango tree because all children they will be gathering the, there in order to play. We had a swing there and some of us used to climb the tree and pluck the fresh mangoes and used to have it. And at times we simply used to embrace the tree and uh, we, we used to talk to the tree just like we talk to our friends. So it was a special kind of uh, experience to embrace the tree, simply embrace the tree and move our fingers on it and to talk to the tree. Years rolled and when my family, they decided to renovate the house, we had to cut down the tree. And I still remember how sad we were regarding it. And the poem that we're going to discuss today, which has a similar theme to tell us or to discuss with us. Now let's uh, recite the poem together and understand it. The poem on killing a tree was one of the poems of Jeev Patil's poetry collection named Poems which was published in the year 1966. This collection was launched by the famous Indian English poet Nizim Esekiel. The poem is set on a very visual plane. The descriptions are vivid and the mood is sad. There also hangs a sense of darkness upon the poem. The pain fell by the trees as imagined by Patel dominates the mood of the poem. The poet Jeev Patel was born on 18th August 1940 and he is an Indian poet and playwright. His first play was called Princess and it was performed in 1971. He was born in Mumbai and educated at a Grant Medical School. He briefly worked as a medical examiner in rural Gujarat before moving back to Mumbai. He currently resides in Mumbai and practices medicine. He is also a painter. As one of the contemporary Indian artists, he has been part of exhibitions around the world. Now let's recite the poem and understand. <laughs> 